clutch derailleurs. They're nothing new, but they're a godsend. Everybody loves them. They're the best thing since the single ring up front. But does that clutch affect chain growth in your suspension? Your suspension is this kinematics based around an optimum front chain ring and rear sprocket. And something is inhibiting that derailleur cage moving, then the small bump sensitivity affected by your derailleur. Does it affect enough that you can actually feel the difference? Should we even care? Is the ability to hold the chain more important? Well, that's where a little bit of science comes in. Those 12 of you that follow me on Instagram will see that I've been playing with a shock quiz recently. So, this seems like the perfect time for a little bit of science. So, I've got it dialed, rubbed 88%. Everything's coming up in the green. So let's flick that switch, do two runs and see what it says. If it doesn't make an appreciable difference, it should still stay all the same. If it does, I suspect inhibiting that small bump and initial movement is going to want more air and to change your low speed compression to make firmer. But let's wait and see what happens. Time for the science bit. So our super secret test track is an Aberfeldy, it's the Burke's downhill. So, let's drop it in. Ha! Lame mountain biker speak, I said drop it in. Now we've had a phenomenal rainstorm yesterday, which has tacked the track right up. Dry as a bone yesterday and quite slidey. Much tackier today. But there's a lot of light leaf litter and little clumps. They're fun to smash free. Watch out! Really want the garden shears on this trail. We're getting a bit steeper now. A few of the root matrix is coming out to play. Woo. Getting tight, getting tight, getting tight. Watch out. It is a little bit lighter for the clutch off, which you would expect. For those of a certain age, won't think it's like insanely loud. So, what did we learn? Clutch mechs do affect your suspension. Not really a big surprise there. We already know lots of different factors are inhibiting your suspension's free movement. Everything from pedaling action, chain growth, braking action, all these things are trying to inhibit the free movement of the suspension in different ways. And the clutch is just another element working against, adding an initial I meant a friction to break through to get to any suspension travel. What I was surprised at was by how much, and that it wasn't just low speed compression, that it was also noticing a, a change in high speed compression. So it's affecting the travel the full way through that range of movement. So I'm gonna start running all my mechs with the clutch turned off. Sometimes, not all the time, but a fair bit of the time I think. Because not only does it ease up that suspension, see it shifts better. It's easier to shift at the lever and it, it, it does, it just shifts better. And that's going to annoy a lot of people. The fact that all this time and effort and engineering has gone into keeping that chain on and the mech keeping your bike nice and quiet just to switch it off. But if you've got a, a narrow wide chain ring up front and a chain guide, you don't really need the clutch. You certainly don't need a clutch on a hardtail. And as we now have the science to back up, a small data set as it is, we now know that a full suspension frame will work better without it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, yeah, interesting lesson for today. Thanks for watching.